Luckily, Charlie Crawla and his group of guys, Scott Spruill and Kevin Abercrombie, are just some of the best guys in the business as far as rigging and stuff. So everything was really safe. It really was. I mean, I was on a ratchet, and we. They, I mean, they they did all the calculating, and I basically was on, along for the ride. I just had to move well. You know, I just had to be there and and just here we go. You know, they have this special ratchet system where it just drops you right in the right spot. It's, it's really up to these guys, you know, hitting the button and letting me down. It's almost like a video game. You see them over there like, you know, you're just getting flown around. <laughs> 79 Monkey, take three, marker. Hey, watch that. Ready. Okay, ready, and action. Talking monkeys can't exist. Ah. <laughs> Uh, cut. Whoa. It's a variety of rigs. Most of them are wire rigs that we use. They're all decelerators and descenders and ratchets. Um, it, it, it all depends on what the scene calls for, what needs to happen, whether we're, whether we're dropping them on a decelerator, whether we're dropping them on a descender, or whether we're actually just flying them through the treetops and then releasing them on a decelerator and dropping them to the jungle floor. Charlie, yeah. You got yeah. yeah. Sorry. It, it was close. It, it just needs to get a little closer. Yeah. But the trajectory's good. It's close. Closer to Mark. You all right, Mark? Just have to back Mark off. Well, the cool thing is how much Charlie let us play. He let me play and he, he and just video everything, you know? So it's kind of like a big playground and come up with as much, you know, ape stuff as you can, you know? And the, he would give me things that he would need, you know? I need to have different ways to mount a horse, a few different ways to get off the horse. Think of some different ways to climb over things and jump over things and jump from one thing to the next. So it was like, okay, good. Little projects, you know, to try to come up with. And, uh, and we, we talked about quadrupedding, and some of the people from other films that have been quadrupedding um, said, oh, you need arm extensions. You need arm extensions to, to quadruped. Quadrupedding is when you're running on all fours. And like chimps do when they run away from something or when, they, when they're just playing and running. And uh, so I was like, well, we're like, yeah, you know, it would help to have arm extensions because your arms are longer and you're, you know, you don't have to, you know, come up, go down as low. But um, we just started playing around with it. And one day on the mat, I was just like, I'm going to try it. And we were just, I ran across the mat and, and uh, Charlie came down and said, Let's video that, that looks great. So he videoed it and showed it to Tim, and Tim freaked out, he loved it. And now it's like one of the main things in the film. So, it, you know, thanks to Charlie letting me play and, and letting us come up with stuff and to be able to recognize things that are, that are usable, you know, it's, it's uh, the freedom to have that is, is what makes little special things, I think, you know, happen in the film. There's some overhead rigs too that we're using for quadruped and uh, that is kind of a different thing where it doesn't help you as far as speed but it helps you look really light on your feet you know so and you can go over logs and leap over things fly over people and you know so it's a system here and uh, it gives them the ability to hold their weight up a little bit so that, so they can do this all day it's pretty much pretty much what it is they're setting their levels right now trying to figure out how close they need to be to the ground and make sure they've got all four on the ground. Going on. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. <laughs> It worked, it worked well, but it was, I felt like a human pinata for a while up there. It was great. So we had Terry just running in my backyard on all fours. And while we were doing this, I was watching him and I thought, God, it's just not slow. It's not fast enough. It's just a little, it looks a little too human. And I had used a rig on another show with Robin Williams where he had to run across the countryside at 30 miles an hour. And we didn't want to do a visual effects shot. We wanted it to be real, where he was actually zipping across the countryside at 30 miles an hour. And I, I hate to give away this secret. You know what? <laughs> uh, what we did is this thing that I used on this other show with Robin was a traveling conveyor belt. 
So I thought, well, let's, let's put them on the traveling conveyor belt and just give it a try and see if that works. So we rolled out the conveyor belt and hooked it up to the back of my truck. And we towed it through my property and videoed it. And then we took it out on the road at my house and we put kind of incorporated some horses into it, which were galloping down the road. And we towed Terry by on the conveyor belt by the horses. And it looked like he was outrunning the horses. And then when we showed it to Philippe and Tim, Philippe Rousselot, our, our director of photography, Philippe came back and said, you know, I've seen this thing five times now, and I cannot figure out how you did it. <laughs> What's the trick? So they all just, they loved it. They, that was the best, best thing we did so far uh, at that point. Um, and I think that's probably what I'll be most proud of once, once this is done, because it really is a cool look. State-of-the-art everything is really what this film's all about, you know? I mean, they didn't really spare an expense anywhere, you know? And Tim Burton, as the leader of the pack, is just one of a kind. He's just so perfect for this film. You know what I'm spelling? If you whack back and just go, and then you go down so that, that it lets you kind of follow through. Do you know what I mean? Still, if you're doing it on the run, yeah. it's just Kind of keep it, keep it the heaviness. I'm going to be excited that I made a difference in the movie. I'm going to be excited about um, making it real, make, making people say, wow, did you see that little thing they did? I'm into subtle things. I want, um, uh, I want the little subtleties to make little sparks happen in the film. That's really what I want to do. In the back, it kind of looks like a, like a yeah, I'll call you. If you do the, I think the, the jump up and the stand and then into that, I think it's probably more, Yeah. it's more open than the, than the, that one just looks like something you see like that. Lone Ranger. Okay. Next up, you're going to Something like that. Real good. That's my job, I think, is to make little, little movements stand out, just real subtly, just embellish Tim's work. When I go home, my wife is just like, you're still doing it. I'm like, really? Yeah. Because, you know, walk along the table, a quadruped will sit down and just, you know, and it's just, it's, it's comfortable. It really is. It's like being an ape is like being completely comfortable in your body and completely unaware of, of anything socially wrong you know it's like you're just I mean just you got to scratch scratch it you know if you're gonna sit sit Boom. You're gonna look you know there's no like should I look over now you know you know there's no adjusting before you sit you just just there being you know I think the key to tapping into your ape is is just being there and just not worrying about anything, but just being present.